Will you please spare a few minutes every week to learn more about wildlife? I will be happy for you. Welcome, let's go. The dark-eyed junco is a species of junco, a group of small, grayish New World sparrows. This bird is common across much of temperate North America and in summer ranges far into the Arctic. It is a very variable species, much like the related fox sparrow, and its systematics are still not completely untangled. Adults generally have gray heads, necks, and breasts, gray or brown backs and wings, and a white belly, but show a confusing amount of variation in plumage details. The white outer tail feathers flash distinctively in flight and while hopping on the ground. The bill is usually pale pinkish. Males tend to have darker, more conspicuous markings than the females. Juveniles often have pale streaks and may even be mistaken for Vesper sparrows until they acquire adult plumage at two to three months, but Junko fledglings' heads are generally quite uniform in color already, and initially their bills still have conspicuous yellowish edges to the gape, remains of the fleshy wattles that guide the parents when they feed the nestlings. The song is a trill similar to the chipping sparrows, except that the red-backed dark-eyed junko's song is more complex, similar to that of the yellow-eyed junko. The call also resembles that of the black-throated blue warblers, which is a member of the New World Warbler family. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? The dark-eyed Junko's breeding habitat is coniferous or mixed forest areas throughout North America. In otherwise optimal conditions it also utilizes other habitats, but at the southern margin of its range it can only persist in its favorite habitat. Northern birds migrate further south, arriving in their winter quarters between mid-September and November and leaving to breed from mid-March onwards, with almost all of them gone by the end of April or so. Many populations are permanent residents or altitudinal migrants, while in cold years they may choose to stay in their winter range and breed there. For example, in the Sierra Nevada mountains of eastern California, the populations will migrate to winter ranges 5,000 to 7,000 feet lower than their summer range. In winter, juncos are familiar in and around towns and in many places are the most common birds at feeders. The slate-colored dark-eyed junco is a rare vagrant to Western Europe and may successfully winter in Great Britain, usually in domestic gardens. Thanks for your patience. I hope to see you pretty soon. Take care.